Well, I do think as the year went along that the ACC uh, really demonstrated they had more teams at the top with the firepower, uh, the overall strength or prowess uh, to win a national championship or to punch through to a Final Four. Uh, Carolina, you know, went on a roll. Florida State went on a roll. Uh, Duke, <clears throat> with Zion Williamson, has been unbeatable. Um, without Zion Williamson, they're, you know, capable of being beat. Um, Virginia, you know, pretty much through the regular season beat everybody they faced other than Duke and uh, until the conference tournament loss had been dominant in their play. So it didn't really surprise me. There were three number one seeds. I think earlier in the year, the Big Ten maybe was leading when it came to the best conference in the country, and they still have a great league and a deep league and are well represented as they should be in this uh, tournament field. But I think it's uh, fair to say there are more teams in the ACC capable of winning the national title than any other conference. Is, is, was there a team that you thought of? What was the biggest team that you thought got left out of the brackets yesterday? You know, North Carolina Greensboro has to be feeling a bit chapped or salty uh, to win 28 games and be left out of the tournament field. Uh, that's difficult. I'm sure NC State, because they were in the ACC, <clears throat> such a tough league that has three number one seeds. Um, so the selection committee, uh, I think, got it right overall, uh, but it's never going to be perfect. And as a result, there's always a couple teams left out. Uh, and it was a very fluid you know, bracket, as so often it is, uh, when it was coming down the home stretch. You know, St. John's, interestingly, the last team seated um, in the 68th, the last team to get in. And uh, interestingly, they could also be a team that gets hot. Um, They didn't play well down the stretch, losing five of seven and uh, lost by 32 in the conference tournament to Marquette. And that had me concerned that from an optics standpoint, uh, they might be left out. But they had done enough work early with the win over VCU and uh, the two big ones over Marquette in the regular season. And they got a dramatic comeback in the garden against Villanova that I think ultimately was the difference. If they don't win <clears throat> that Villanova game, they don't get in. But now they're a team uh, that could be very dangerous facing Arizona State in the first four uh, coming up this week. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.